There's a neat way to solve this. So we're looking for the first ace, and there are four aces in the deck. We don't need to distinguish between them. So there's the four aces. Let's take another card, which is a non-ace, and see how many ways we could arrange these five cards. Well, we could have ace, 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 and then the non-ace. Ace, 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 non-ace, and ace. Ace, ace, non-ace, ace, and ace. Ace, non-ace, ace, ace, and ace. And then non-ace, ace, 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 and ace. All five of these are equally likely, but only this fifth one here has the non-ace before all of the aces. Therefore, we know that for any individual card, there is a one-fifth probability that it is going to be before the first ace. In actual fact, if we just look at all of the gaps, that makes sense from a perspective, a visual perspective as well. Now, there are 48 non-ace cards, and so therefore each one of them has a one-fifth probability of being before the first ace, so therefore we would expect 48 over 5, which is 9.6 cards, to be before the first ace. Answer B.